thinking back to the fiscal statement from the Chancellor yeah. last week, has he done enough to boost growth in the UK economy? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> Let's be honest. I mean, look, this is probably a two-part play, right? Part one, the autumn statement last Thursday, was focused on calming the markets after a pretty difficult uh, mini-budget and also on combating inflation, which was the Prime Minister's stated aim. What it didn't do, as you allude to, was really give any new momentum to Britain's growth story. And that's really important because, look, we've got a government now that's not spending money on growth. We've got a Bank of England that's not trying to spend money on growth. So it's going to be even harder than ever to get growth going. But if we don't, then, yeah, the worry is we're going to have another decade of flatlining productivity and low growth. And do you have the sense that Labour would have a more balanced focus on growth and inflation? Well, so far the Labour Party have set out an industrial strategy for investment in Britain, which is a good strategy, but it's very expensive. Mm -hmm. And I think the question that Keir Starmer will have to answer when he comes to CBI conferences, can they still really afford it? You know, we're in stagflation territory now as Britain. That hasn't happened for decades. And so you can't really make a choice. I tell you what, we'll fight inflation, not worry about growth. Or I tell you what, we'll go for growth and ignore inflation. You have to do both at the same time. So we're going to need some fresh thinking to do that. And were the measures that the Chancellor announced to close this gap in the labour market sufficient? No, we didn't re We saw intent, but we didn't see any plans. And you're right to focus on the labour market. You know, we've got hundreds of thousands of people now economically inactive after the pandemic. We've got an immigration system that's far too nervous about bringing in the skills we need. We haven't had a shortage occupation list for two years. And it is very important because, you know, when the labour market is as it is, two things happen. One, inflation goes up because of wage pressure. And two, firms don't have the people to grow. So I think you're right to raise the importance of the labour market. You mentioned immigration and Manus mentions the reports over the weekend denied by the government that it's looking at a Swiss-style deal with the EU. Would closer ties with the EU help the labour market problem? No, I don't think they will. Look, the truth is, and Simon Wolfson of next said this, you know, Brexit meant we get to make our own choices on immigration, right? It doesn't mean we go back to an immigration system of the past. It means we choose to bring in the workers we need for the jobs we are missing. Now, in the long run, we want British people to fill the jobs we're missing. But until then, we're going to have to rely on immigration, on short-term visas. Otherwise, I'm afraid wage inflation will keep getting worse and worse, so therefore will inflation, and we won't get growing. 